the world is talking about AI right now. So you might have seen AI in a bunch of forms all over social media lately. The State Fair's art competition. This is the first year it has been won by our robot overlords. AI-powered artwork floods the internet. Actual artists who got beat out are not happy. I came across this Twitter thread showcasing what you can create using Midjourney. I see these photos. They blew me away the first time I saw them. Suddenly people started sharing portraits. AI portraits. I didn't realize you could make app icons and mock-ups. It. Long story short, it's awesome, and we're going to play with it. Making AI art. The art of artificial intelligence. So, to get started, all you have to do is go to midjourney.com, create an account, and then from there, you're just using a Discord bot to generate these images. So, like, here's the recent one I just did. Beautiful app icon, social networking app. It's just crazy what AI can do. So, if we say, slash, imagine, and try to have some fun with this icon fitness weight lifting cartoon v4 so when you're using mid journey the main things to remember is it goes in order of one two three four and if you love the first one for example you could hit upscale one so you could save an upscale version of that image you cannot be inappropriate be an adult whoa check this out the key here is really within the prompts so i'm still getting better at it but you can see that we can quickly generate these cool app icons. We could look to this Twitter thread for inspiration. To look at this one, beautiful application icon for a dating app. There was a trading one in here that was insane. This one. Some of these app icons are just crazy impressive, like beautiful app icon, health and fitness futuristic. Like that's super cool. I was working on a time capsule one, like time capsule note. I didn't type app icon. I just did time capsule note. And this is what I got and it's gorgeous. You can style it the way you want, but when you don't type app icon, you don't get that border. So look at this, iOS app, productivity, dribble, Pinterest, Behance, charts. Like it's a starting point, you know what I mean? And then we can look at these Twitter threads of people just creating insane mock-ups. You can also create dogs, which who doesn't love that? Trading app. Let's try doing something along those lines. Beautiful application icon for a budgeting app oh look at these i mean those top two those top two are cool and then say i like number two i can go variation two and it will create a variation of that in four different ways so then we have our variations of that second one so you see they're they're slightly changed now you could use this as an app you may have to subscribe to a plan to use them commercially, but you could also use this as inspiration. I was just messing with this the other day and I just typed in coffee and the art that it generated was insane. Here's another iOS app design profile, iOS 16, dribble Pinterest, blue glass morphism. And this is what it gave me. You'll notice that the text is not really clear, but it's at least a, a starting point for some sort of design that you wanna work on. Look at the detail on it. Like this is crazy. Let's throw another one at it. Beautiful mobile design for fitness app. Look at that third one. When we say upscale three, there's our fitness app. Once again, the text is a bit weird, but like, that's awesome. That's crazy. All right, and then we can get crazy. Like you wanna talk about getting crazy, we'll get crazy. App icon, angry spider food, version four. Shit, I did that wrong. I thought I typed the version four wrong, but maybe I don't need a space between V and four. Look at us learning. Huh? Oh my God. That's an angry apple spider. Okay, I see what it did there. Look at this. So the next time you're building an angry spider food app, I mean, that's insane, isn't it? Let's do another crazy one before we, before we call it a day. Imagine app icon, where's my head going? Where's my head going? App icon, pizza, love. You know why? Because I love pizza. Would you look at that heart shaped pizza on the way? Wow. Thank you, Midjourney. You made my day and you also made me hungry. So where to go from here? Create a Midjourney account, play with these. You could either use them as inspiration or if you find one that you love, look into their terms. I'm not telling you to use them, but at the very least it's inspiration for designing your own app, right? Mockups as well. If, you, if you're not really sure how a screen should look, you could, you could type in beautiful profile design and you will get out a beautiful profile design. And at least it's a starting point, right? I've seen people combine Midjourney with other AI tools to help you with the actual coding part. It's a very exciting time with AI. I'm here for the ride. I found this great tool. I just wanted to share it with my YouTube channel and there will be more apps on the way, which is a lot more exciting to me. So stay tuned, subscribe if you like this video and thank you for watching.